name is Miss Adina and I am the Youth Services Associate at the Lexington branch of the Mansfield Richland County Public Library System. And today we are talking about opposites. And that's when you have two things that are as completely different as possible from each other. So for example, if you think about a cheetah, they're really, really fast. And then if you think about a turtle, they're slow. So fast and slow are two opposites. Or if you think about a mouse, it's really small, and an elephant is really big. All right, so we are going to start off with a welcome chant. So go ahead and do this with your hands. Very good. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quietly as we can. Hello. Very good. Nice and soft. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loudly as we can. Hello. Good. We're going to do a couple more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. So try to get a really high voice. Hello. Good. Now we're going to do one more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Very good, you guys. Now we are going to do a song called Open Shut Them. So let me see your hands. Open shut them. Open shut them. Them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Very good. Big and small, big and small. Big, 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 small, small, small. Big and small, big and small. Big, 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 small, small. Very good. Now let me see your hands do this. Very good. We're going to do fast and slow. Fast and slow. Fast and slow. Fast, 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 fast. Slow, slow, slow. Fast and slow. Fast and slow. Fast, 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 fast. Slow, slow, slow. Good job. This next one is called Two Little Blackbirds. So if you can show me one on one hand and one on the other. Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud, one named quiet, one named loud. Fly away, quiet. Fly away, loud. Come back, quiet. Come back, loud. Good, now we're gonna do another one. Two little blackbirds playing in the snow, one named fast, one named slow. Fly away, fast. Fly away slow, come back fast, come back slow. Very good. So one opposite we haven't talked about yet is clean and dirty. So we are going to have our clean pigs here jump into the mud where they're going to get really dirty, okay? So we have one, two, three pigs. So show me three. Very good. Three pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play, oink, oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud, then there were two clean squeaky pigs, oink, oink. Good. Two pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play, oink, oink. One jumped into the mud, Landed with a great big thud. Then there was one clean squeaky pig. Oink, oink. Good. So we just got one pig left. One pig so squeaky clean. Cleanest you've ever seen. Wanted to go outside and play. Oink, oink. One jumped into the mud. Landed with a great big thud. Then there were no clean squeaky pigs. Oink, oink. Very good job. This next song is one that you probably we know very well but it has some opposites like up and down and sunny and rainy so we're going to do itsy bitsy spider make you a little spider for me the itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out 
came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Let's do it one more time. The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Nice job. The last thing I have planned for you guys today is to do a little activity of another opposite that we haven't talked about yet, which is hot and cold. So I have some different pictures here and I want you to tell me whether you think it's something that is hot or something that is cold. So first one, we have a candle. What do you think that would be? That would be hot, right? Because of the flame, we wouldn't want to touch that. Next one, we have one of my favorite things ice cream. Is that hot or cold? That is cold and it's perfect on a hot summer day. Another thing that's good on a hot summer day is a popsicle because those are cold too. Let's see what's next. What about fire? Is that hot or cold? That would be really hot. Don't want to get near fire. And what about an ice cube. That would be cold and when it gets hot it melts and turns into water. We have a grill and there's something cooking on the grill so I would say that would be hot. Right. What about a snowflake? That would be cold right because when it snows in the winter it's really cold. And we have the sun, that would be really hot. And last one, we have soup. And there are some cold soups, but we know this one is hot because it has steam coming off the top of it. And this is a game that you can play at home too. I did things that are hot and cold, but you could take pictures of things that are fast and slow, or short and tall, or big and small. Alright, so I just wanted to go over the opposite story time packet for you real quick. And if this one isn't currently available at your branch, that's okay. You can ask your library staff for another packet and they'll give you a bunch of different activities and songs that you can do, even if it's not the opposites. So it has the welcome chant, which is the bread and butter chant that we did at the beginning. Um, the different songs and finger plays and the um, squeaky pig flannel that we did. Um, and it also has Itsy Bitsy Spider, of course. And it has additional songs and rhymes that you can do at home as well. And I listed some different books that you can read that have to do with opposites. And I actually have some of those here. So this one is Be Quiet Mike, but you can tell that he is playing an instrument, so he is not being quiet. He's being really loud. And another good one is Go, 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 Stop. And that would be a really fun one if you know the game Red Light, Green Light. So you can play that so that way you can learn the difference between stop and go. There we go. And I also listed some early literacy tips here for you. The biggest thing that I talk about is vocabulary. And that means that your child knows the names of things, feelings, concepts, and ideas. So while you're reading books together, talk about concepts like we did today, like opposites or color, size, and shape. We have a little coloring page here for you, and then there are some opposites activity pages that you can do. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.